sure, you can probably take me in a fight, but can you pick a penny off the floor? Huh? Hi, this is Simon from Fingers on Plastic coming pre-recorded from Isolation Station 16189135. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at Studio Series 60, which is of course Constructor Con Scrapper. And here he is in his box. Very nice looking box. Finally, they changed the logo on the side for someone, which pleases me. Few product shots. 36 steps. Ooh, this could be interesting for me. So what do you reckon, 40, 42 maybe? Let's see what we can do. Uh, I'd say that's about it for the box. Let's get him open. So here he is. So funny story, I literally only bought him because I was buying Bumblebee and Scrapper here was right slap bang next to him on the page and he he just sort of fell into my shopping cart. So thank you, Kapow, for your, your you know, spreading things out the way. Maybe because it was both both yellow. I, I don't know. Anyway, he fell in the basket. Um, and I've been messing about with him quite a bit, actually. And I'm, I'm really torn on the guy. So first of all, his backdrop is a uh, nice little Egypt backdrop. So the first time, he comes with no accessories. I would have liked a gun, if I'm going to be honest. A gun would have been good. Um, articulation. His head can go sort of up, sort of down. He can waggle it around. And check out that mug. <laughs> He's not a pretty boy, is he? Um, his arms can sort of come all the way around but they are annoyingly hindered by this bit of sculpted detail, which is so somehow on this figure, sculpted detail is both a blessing and a curse. His elbow goes. Now, f uh, and another slight annoyance, this claw doesn't open, it's just like a ball. Um, I would have liked his fingers to have opened. Uh, same here. And on this arm, this is his hand. I mean, great if he wants to pick up pizza, but what were they thinking? I mean, you know what? I'd have been all right with some parts forming here, and if that had gone off and clipped on his back and he just had a regular everyday hand, because that's just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, what even is it? I can say it's if he serves pizza to the rest of the com uh, constructor cons. We don't have waste, but he does have some sort of weird thigh spreading because you can get his winky out. Don't know why. Uh, we have a bit of knee until the tires come together, uh, and then the foot sort of messes around. So he's not poseable, really. Well, he is and he isn't. But, he's got this strange thing about him, and I really like him, and I don't know why. He shouldn't be a liked figure. He's, his hands are ridiculous. He doesn't have a gun. The cat's been in the box again. Um, you know, he's, he, he shouldn't be liked, but I like him, and I, I don't know why. Can anyone tell me why? I mean, he's got some fantastic sculpted detail in there. Look at that. It's just fun. It's brilliant. Um, nice wheels, decent paint. But he's, he's a hot mess. His arms and hands and lack of waist. I don't really care. He's still quite poseable, but he's got something, but I don't know what that something is. He's got a bit of size. Here is Bumblebee. So, you know, he's, he's a good size. He's a, a Voyager class, whereas he's a deluxe. But yeah, 
it's he's got something but i cannot for the life of you tell you what it is i mean i love the the um smokestacks coming out here and um, the back's not too bad it, it, he's ugly as sin he's gangly and weird but i like him answers on a postcard too anyway i'd say that's about it for robot mode let's get him transformed up in 36 steps or more be right back and here he is um tell you what he rolls like an absolute champ i've been having all sorts of trouble taking pictures of him because he keeps rolling away he looks fantastic i again so he's he's too small to be a proper bulldozer right um because he's got the step ladders up the side which indicates he should be enormous and it'd be nice if they'd painted those step ladders but maybe i could get my sharpie out <laughs> but he's so cool i, I really do like you know like the, the exhausts at the back there um just all the details on him and all the sculpted detail and his little uh shovel comes up uh he's, he's like a chunky go-kart and he's really cool i like him he shouldn't work but he does uh here he is with the magnificent steering wheel that is bumblebee so you see what i mean about him being a bit too small he should be like maybe twice the size he is let's go against the jeep but he's cool. I really like him. I right, just keep still, keep still. Uh, yeah, the details, the, well, all he does. Uh, I'm not going to collect the constructor cons. I'm not doing the full Devastator thing because I think uh, a load of the other figures look absolutely rubbish. <laughs> um, really poor. And I haven't got space for a full size Devastator. But this guy is a one-off. I love. Um, he's he's so much fun, and for a figure I wasn't even going to buy, I mean, he's got his combiner port there, but you can shove it under. I just like it there because it looks like he could hitch something onto his butt or something. A bit of paint chipping on the wing mirror there. It's nothing that Simon Sharpies can't sort out. <laughs> um. Yeah, oh, what you, I love the exhaust at the back, I love them. So he is a cool, fun figure. I'm gonna have to give him, even though he's got barely any articulation and the weirdest hand setup I've ever seen in a figure, I'm giving him a solid eight. An eight out of 10 for this guy. And I don't know why, he's got a charm. And the charm has won me over. So therefore he's recommended. What does other people think of uh, Scrapper? Thinking of getting him, get him. Already got him, wasn't going to. What do people think about this figure? If you could put some comments in. I'd, I'm really genuinely curious about what other people think about this figure. Because it really, it shouldn't work. It should be a hot mess. And in some respects it is a hot mess. But I like it. Anyway, now I'm just ranting. Thank you very much. on plastic.